Hello and welcome to my February 6th video update. Hopefully there's not too much echo in here. I'm in a dining room with hardwood floors and very little carpeting and a big wooden table, but hopefully the lab is, is compensating at least somewhat for that. I got the DJI Spark drone, as you know, and I bought the Fly More Combo purposely because it came with its own little case, an extra battery, the controller, and quite an array, as you can see, of things in addition to the Spark itself. And uh, this, this little bag was not a bad extra feature that came with it as well. So I was very happy with that. But I started looking around my basement because I thought I had a Pelican case. And sure enough, I did. So some years ago, I got a gift certificate for a local camera store. Didn't need any of the bags I had, but I never had a Pelican case. And our son swears by them, so I figured, okay. So I got the Model 1300 case and never used it. Now the case comes with two, you know, kind of wide pieces and a foam. A thin piece that separates, the, as I understand it, the bottom from the top. So here's the, the bottom. And I figured this might be a good solution for carrying all of this stuff. And I hope to get another, at least one or two more batteries. So what I did is start to lay the spark out on the foam and figure out how I could place things in the Pelican bag. So let me show you what I've done. All right, so first I put the spark on the top foam and made sure that it would fit. Sure enough, it does. And then I did a cutout for the spark and for the controller. So those go in the top. And if I take that piece off, there's this thin separating piece. At least that's what I'm using it for. And in the bottom section, which is equally as thick as the top section, I cut out a little place for the battery um, platform that accepts three batteries and a place for the charger. So this will fit in here. And actually, if I do this properly, I think that I had it cut out so that I can push the, so that's, pretty slick. And then I can actually put in the cable when I've used these little uh, things I bought to, uh, like Velcro things and that fits right in on top of the of the battery platform. I can put this battery here and that may not be the smartest thing but I'm gonna look for another way to do that. Uh, I, the Fly More kit comes with extra propellers so I have those and they'll fit right in that little cavity above the platform. And then I put the separator in and the top section back in. And now I can place the spark with its propellers folded and turned in, in this space here and push it down. And it goes kind of below the foam and onto that separator piece because it goes all the way through. So that works out nicely. And I've put notches here for the controller handle or joysticks. Uh, I hope to get those protectors for the joysticks at some point when I come into some more money. Uh, and that will go pretty far down. And then this cable, the charging cable goes right there. What won't fit, at least as I have it configured now, are these extra um, propeller guards that uh, came with the Flymore kit. But now when I close this, I'm good to go. And it's waterproof when it's closed up. It's hard to close. And it is, you know, pretty rugged. Nothing's going to happen to it. I'm really happy. I finally have a use for this Pelican 1300 case and I have another way to carry the gear for my um, DJI Spark. Although I must say this little case that came with the kit is pretty nice. So I mean it has a fair amount of space in it and a little pocket in the front, a little place right here for 
SD cards and so on. So I may end up using this a lot more, at least around home, but we're going on a trip and I thought this is the way I'll pack the Spark, be safe and uh, secure. Very good. So I'll see you in my next video update. Thanks for checking in today. Goodbye. <music>